Okay, what's up everybody? So, in this video, I'm gonna show you a coding bot, like a coding tutorial for a Discord bot, and yes, I'm doing this on mobile, don't judge me. I'm using the Astro Node.js coding app and whatnot, and yes, I do have 10% battery, don't judge me, my charger sucks. So... So, for now, I'm going to do it in the index.js file, which, which I don't want to do, like, a full-on coding series, like, the, from the basics to now, or whatnot. Because a f good friend of mine already has, like, videos on coding from the very beginning to now or whatnot what you need to do if you want to code something if you want to go check him out I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go check him out so anyway <laughs> enough rambling on this will be a a command that is basically it if you guys watch anime, like the main female characters and certain animes, they would say baka, which basically means idiot, moron, stupid, dummy, whatever, to basically insult them. So, real quick, let me get the main thing all right now this const discord equals required discord.js right here that's required for you to actually have your bot run and if this basically means it this this it looks for the discord client so it could run this part discord.js which is a node function in the npm section so and then it'll be requiring this to link to this and this is the modules async message args Args is basically arguments, and message is the message that you are trying to send. And this is and this is the name of the command that you want to do. Real quick, before you actually want to do anything, you want to go to the npm menu, or if you're doing this on PC, the terminal. Here, let me do it from the terminal so you guys know. I added to do that, so let me do npm i for install and then dash g which is global and then node dash f e fetch which it basically scours a specific link or website or whatnot for anything and it seems like yep there it is just wait until it gets done it'll install the packages that you need so we can go back and then we can do const fetch equals require and then we can do um give me a minute I'm trying to remember oh yeah no space require 
and then we can I'm doing a mouse and keyboard so give me a minute that nope not that one uh this yep we can do the little like exclamation mark or whatever it is nope node dash fetch and then the second one of them now we want to go to here press enter and then try it'll look it'll it'll see if it can try to find the link for it and if it does it'll run the command and then we need to do nope not that we need to do that enter and then we need to do fetch and then and then the link oh, wait no 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 I did that wrong there and then oops and then the link I'm not if you want the link I'm going to type it out real quick so hold on oops real professional run real professional <laughs> API slash v2 slash img slash baka and then that oh no wait oh wait no it's slash slash I got that wrong. It's this one. So it doesn't go all green. Yep. And then you want to go to the end. No, not. <sighs> this is why I hate doing it on mobile and then we do dot then circle and then res which is the response and then equals and then the the right arrow which basically means it is equal to and then R E S dot JSON and the JSON is basically a JSON file that will be in the node modules oops which is which is not here that's because we didn't install the discord.js npm file which I'm not gonna do I have another bot that already has it I'm gonna show you with that bot and then we need to do this again but on the inside of the thing and then enter dot then and then we need to do another circle thing and then 
data is equal to and then we need to do that enter and then message dot channel dot send now this it base this command right here it base well this code line of code it basically sends it to the channel that you typed it in and all of this right here the the then is basically looking for the in the f link file and the JSON file that is in the node modules for a random image from that from that link file so let's continue then we need to do that then we need to do that and then question mark no not a question mark dollar sign and then the weird looking circle data dot url it th this is basically looking for the url while well, go going to the url and po posting that random image then we need to go in there and then we need to do that so it actually highlights it in green No, 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 do not do that one. We need to do the other one. So it does not highlight it. Then we need to go down and we need to put like the little like colon with the dot thing. Then down again. Space. Catch. And then we need to do the circle one. ERR, which is basically error. And then. Oh. I'm not used to typing on keyboard. The weird looking circle. Enter. And now. Console. Dot. Log. And then the circle, and then error again. Now, now this, it'll basically, if the bot command doesn't work, it'll send the error into the terminal, which then it'll let you know what went wrong, so you can go into the line of code to try and fix it like whatever it went wrong like if the link ain't working you can replace it with another one or if the if the com your command handler you update it it might not work with the link file thing which then you need to update the whole entire thing and then okay now We need to do two more of these. Enter. And then enter. Backspace it a bit. And there we go. That should be the entire command. Now let me make sure it is all. Uh, yep, it is all. So, I'm gonna switch over to my main bot and in, in, uh, initialize it. So, give me one minute. Okay, I'm back. Oh, and the file name, I used the index in the other one. This one, you name it 
Baka.js or whatever you want to name it to but you have to keep the JS or it won't work now let's start it now once this fully starts you go to discord and test it out and it should give you a random image from like a random anime that says Baka which there's a lot because I've been watching anime for a long time and there is a lot of them there you go it is done so let me go to there so and now you want to do your prefix if you have that set and then Baka and then boom it'll send a random one well that's it I hope you guys enjoyed I will see you guys in the next one don't forget to like subscribe turn on post notifications and if you have any ideas for videos that you want me to do in the future leave them in the comments because I will try to get them done as best as I can. So I will see you in the next one. Peace. Bye bye.